Sibling relationships can be complicated, especially between sisters. Greta Gerwig's 2019 installment of Little Women retells the classic novel written by Louisa May Alcott by merging past and future experiences. It shows us different ways to experience grief, success, and love through the eyes of four sisters on different paths and pursuing their own passions in life. Time passes in Little Women through a plethora of flashbacks punctuated by different colored filters, putting an emphasis on the March sisters' childhood together versus the adult world they stepped into separately. Theodore Lawrence, or Lori, the only boy allowed in the March sisters' gentleman club in their attic, gives all of the girls a set of keys to a small post box where they can write each other's notes in a childlike clubhouse manner. But when Joe comes home from New York later in the film, she visits the post box alone to find nothing inside. These two scenes show how getting older separates you from the people you grew up with. In two other instances, we see Joe visit the beach, once with all of her siblings including Lori, and the second time, Joe is alone with Beth. Together, the sisters run and play badminton with youthful enthusiasm. In the second beach scene, with only Joe and Beth, we see Joe trying to motivate her sister to heal from her illness. Beth has Joe write her a story about the happy times of their youth to raise her spirits. But this Joe has trouble coming to terms with her adult life as we see her cling to the past. The filter change is used to show that growing up can dull the color in your life. Beth comes down with scarlet fever twice in the film, and the first time it's treated more as a child coming down with a common cold, but the second time she is wrapped in a cold blue. You can feel the acceptance of her succumbing to the illness. In the two scenes, Joe is curled around a sleeping Beth, physically trying to shield her away from being sick. Both scenes show us Beth is no longer in the bed with Joe the morning after, and in haste, Joe makes her way downstairs to see where Beth is. This difference in action, first hasty then hesitant, reflects the feelings the marches go through while Beth fights her sickness. Beth's illness affects Joe's perception of reality and forces the realization that she needs to move on from her youth and accept that they are all growing up and moving on with their lives. The last scene shown in warm lighting is at Meg's wedding, where she marries John Brooke. This event signifies the first March sister stepping out of the embrace of childhood and into the adult world. Joe even goes as far as to say, I can't believe childhood is over, when Joe wants Meg to run away with her and remain interesting forever, so as not to be dull like Mr. Brooke. The way Joe views her freedom through being youthful heavily plays into how she wants to spend the rest of her life around her family. In a scene later in the movie, Joe says to Marmy that she has always been quite content with her family. Rivalry and companionship have a very fine line drawn between them and Little Women. Joe and Amy have always been at each other's throats, constantly comparing themselves to each other and forming an intense rivalry that lasts well into their adult life. Amy and Joe's relationship comes to a head when Lori is in question. He and the two girls have a semi-love triangle. Lori loves Joe, Amy loves Lori, and Joe wants to be independent of romance. Amy eventually marries Lori on her way back from Europe and worries about how Joe will react to this information since Joe was aware and told about Lori's feelings for her when they were younger. Joe's last ties to her childhood innocence were her playful friendship with Lori and the rivalry she had with her sister. Both of these circumstances come to an end though with the joining of her sister and her best friend, effectively drawing an end to the illusion of her youthful immaturity. Four sisters change and mature. Jo finds a way to move on from her childhood and accepts her family for what it is. Amy marries the man she's always loved and blossoms into the woman she's always believed she was. Meg finds happiness in the simple things in life and fully embraces her type of life she chose. And Beth, while being taken away by illness, left meaningful and loving memories in her wake. It's hard to move on from the good times in life and accept that you're getting older, but with the right people around you, the transition into adulthood comes easier.